Hey guys, I'm going to show you something kind of cool that you can do with your Android phone today. It's basically using your phone as a wireless MIDI controller for programs like Reason or Fruity Loops, just about anything that'll take a MIDI input. So, uh, there's four pieces to this puzzle. There is you know, the actual Android program you'll be using. Uh, in this case, I'm using Musical Pro, uh, which does cost a little bit of money. I'm not sure if there's free programs on the Android market that can do the wireless MIDI as well, uh, but this is the one I've been using, so not free, sorry. Anyway, I do recommend the program because it's really good. Alright, the next piece of the puzzle is the Musical Pro desktop client, which I will give you guys a link to. It's basically a uh, Java program that you launch, and it will allow you to map the incoming MIDI from the phone program to a virtual MIDI port in this case uh, using the third part of the <laughs> puzzle which is MIDI Yoke. Uh, it's a program that runs on the background of your computer and basically gives you some virtual MIDI ports that you can link things to and that's kinda what you have to do to bring it into Reason or most of the other programs I'm sure. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Basically the first thing you're gonna need to do is download the the program for your phone. So it's this one here. It's called Musical Pro by Christopher Savoy or Suve, sorry. <laughs> um, but only the Pro version comes with the um, Wi Fi MIDI keyboard. Uh, yeah, MIDI piano Wi Fi to PC. So anyway, this is the one you want to get, unless there's others that do it. So once you open this program, you'll see it's got a lot of different, very useful tools, and it's a very well very very well made program I like it a lot um, so to show you exactly what we're gonna do here you have this sort of deal going and you have the keyboard on your phone which you can use to control reason cool so once you've got this program, the next deal is to get the Musical Pro desktop client. And where you get that is this link here, which I'll post in the description on this video. So let's go ahead and open that up. So once you're here, basically, he's got a link to the newest version. Click that, and you just want to get download Musical Desktop. Click here. It's a JAR, uh, Java Archive, which means you do have to have Java installed on your computer, the actual Java runtime environment, um, which usually is installed on every computer. If it's not, just go to java.com. The default download should be the right one for your system. So once we've got that installed, then we are, well, you don't even install it. You basically just double click on the JAR file, and it should open. If it doesn't, then you don't have Java. Um, but once that's open, um, this Musical Pro should be able to connect to it. Uh, you'll in Musical Pro, click this little Wi-Fi icon looking thing here. And it'll bring up a window of what do you want to connect to. And you'll type in the same IP address if it's not in there already that uh, the desktop client is giving you. It says 192.168.1.105. So you type that in here and connect and it should connect. This program likes to give you a lot of errors even when there's no problem. Um, so just uh, hit a few keys and it will hopefully eventually say connection established. But it might keep giving you errors until we do the next part of the puzzle which is MIDI Yoke. And that's basically a program that just gives you a virtual MIDI system in the background that you can connect everything to. Uh, so just think of it uh, kind of a loopback chord, just plugging a chord into itself or something like that. But it's the in between between uh, this program's receiver and Reason. So it says it's really only for Windows NT slash XP, whatever. It's, it's kind of an old program, but it works perfectly and it does exactly what it's supposed to. So we just want to go to download on this page and get the first one. Download now. It'll give you a uh, exe file that you just install, and there's really no options. So just just go through the installer. You do have to restart after you install before the virtual MIDI ports will show up. So once that's done, you should then once you've got all this stuff open and connected again, you should be able to choose out to MIDI yoke. 
and you can choose whatever channel on that you want. Um, for now, we'll just do out to midi oak one. Um, cool. Yeah. So once that's set up, we should be ready to move over to Reason. So let me go ahead and uh, go into Reason, delete my configuration that I had, um, and then I will lead you guys through actually setting up yours. Cool. Okay. So when you open up Reason, you want to go to Edit Preferences. Then you'll go to the Keyboards and Control Surfaces page under the drop down on the top. And then you want to click Add. And basically, you're just going to choose Other on this manufacturer thing. It'll let you type in your own info for it because obviously it's not going to have a preset for this. Um, I'm just going to call it Musical Pro via Wi Fi. Okay, now down here where it says MIDI input, this is where you typically you can just choose in from MIDI yoke, but if you really want to make sure it's working, you can hit the find button and then actually push some of the keys on your phone and it should, as long as everything's working correctly, it should, um, I might have to reconnect here, ah, there we go, it should detect it. It'll automatically fill in in from MIDI yoke 1 because that's what we're sending our MIDI events through. So let's hit choose once it finds it and hit OK and we should be set at this point so it kind of freezes on me for some reason as soon as I choose that but it should go there it goes alright so now we should be good at this point we should be able to play around and use them however you want you know, and it does maintain the multi-touch if your phone supports it uh, through all of this so that's pretty cool so you should be good, you should be able to play around inside of Reason using your phone, which is pretty cool. So, hope this works out for you guys, and I will talk to you later.